Hi, in this video I'll show you how to do an approximate match or an approximate lookup using Power Query. So when we're talking about an approximate match or approximate lookup, this is a good example that will show you. Let's say, for example, we have our salesperson, they sell these quantity of items and we want to know what the commission rate are for them. We have our commission rate table here. So in this table, we have our quantities and our percentages. So in this example, if a person sold at least one item, they're going to get 10%. If they sold at least 100 items, 20%. 200 items, 5%. At least 500 items, 0.8%. Now, what this really means is from 1 to 99, you're going to get 10%. 100 to 99, 199, 2%. 200 to 499, 5%. And anything 500 and above, 0.8%. So you can see here, for salesperson one, they sold, they sold 740 items. So they should be in this 8%. You can see that they have this 8%. Salesperson two, they sold 10 items. Uh, they sold more than one, but less than 100. So it bounces back to 10%. And you can see that we have our percentage here, 0.1, 10%. Now, traditionally, we don't really need to put in this into Power Query. You can use the look VLOOKUP or index, at mat, index match for an approximate lookup. But if you do this on a reoccurring basis or this is part of some steps that you have and this there's a lot of data. We're talking things that are like over 100,000, over maybe 100, 500,000 rows. You may want to use Power Query to do that because you're handling large, lots of data or it's a reoccurring thing where you want to kind of automate this. And Power Query gives you that benefit. So let's see how we do this. I'm going to sheet one where I have my data. I have my salesperson column and then I have my commission column. So let's turn this into a table. I'll select this, go to insert table and click table. Yes, my table does have headers. I will call this sales. And then this table, I'll select this range because I don't want to include this here. I go to insert table. Click OK, and I'll just call this commission. I'll just say COMM, press enter. Now I'm going to bring these both into Power Query as a connection only. Take this table, go to data from table and range. Since I called it, let's make this smaller here. Since I called it sales, it picked up the sales name. Click close and load, and I want to close and load it as a connection only only create connection. Click OK. And let's do the same thing for this table, my commission table. Go to data from table and range and select close and load and save it as a connection only. Click OK. So I have my two connection only table queries. Now I want to take my sales table and just reference it. And for this table, I'm going to append the commission table to this. So I will click on the append queries. We're under home, go to append queries, and we're going to append the commission table. Click OK. And now you notice, since it had a common field, the quantity field, it will append it based on that. And there's no values because the commission field didn't have a item column, so that becomes null. The commission field also didn't have values for these particular quantities, so those became null. But it did have values for the quantity, of course, and the percentage. So I brought those in. Now for the quantity field, that's the field or the column that is common amongst both tables, I will sort that, sort by ascending. So now you see we have our ascending values here. The next thing I want to do is sort by my item here and sort this also as ascending. So now you start to see that where I have my quantity, we have our percentages that are coming from the commission table. They start first, right? So I have quantity of one, that starts first, quantity of 100, that starts first. And anything that is between one and 199, you'll notice here between 1 and 199, it's, it should take that point 0.1. This, this cell should take that point 0.1. This cell should take that point 0.1. 1 
or that 10%. And anything that is 100 to 199 should take this 0.2. So this cell should be 0.2, and that cell should be 0.2. And the way we can do that is we're going to fill downward for these values. Just right click and go to fill, and we're going to fill down. And now you notice that it's filled those values down. So you can see that it's nicely done that. And I don't need these null values here because it's already filled the percentages down for my salespersons. So I don't need these nulls. These are, so they're the null values that came over from the commission table because it didn't see a, a value in the salesperson table. I can just filter those out now. Right click and re uncheck that. Click OK. And now I have my approximate match. So salesperson 7, as you know, as you noted earlier, salesperson 7 had only one sale. So they could get what 10%. Pretty good percentage when you think about it, commission when you think about it. But uh, that's how it's going to work out now. Now if I wanted to kind of replicate the order here that they're in, I can go and uh, filter this for ascending since these are salesperson 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So with that done, I can bring this into my worksheet. I'm going to click Close and Load, click and Close Load to. Let's put it into the sheet somewhere. And we'll load it as a table, not a connection. And put it in our existing worksheet. Let's see. Let's just put it in cell J1. Click OK. And now we have our output table where it's doing an approximate match or approximate lookup. So, of course, we had salesperson 1, they had 748, they should get the 8%, which is here. Salesperson 2, they had 10, and anything that is 1 to 199 should get that 10%, and they do have it there. Salesperson 3, 199, so they are at this point. They're over 100, but less than 200, so they should get that 20%, that point two, and so that is there. So this is the way that we can use Power Query to create an approximate match or approximate lookup. So as I said before, if you have a small data table or you don't do this often, using the VLOOKUP command for approximate match or index match command for approximate match is probably a better solution. But if you do this on a recurring basis or if you've got very large data and it's part of a series of steps, using Power Query might be a good choice. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.